now we're able to do a single dive on a reef, capture thousands of images, bring them back home, recreate that reef in the lab, and then spend hundreds of hours extracting data out of that one dive. So it's really transforming our ability to collect data and to learn from these reefs in a way that's really never been possible before. Uh, using classical approaches, we were able to just see what was on the bottom, and that's where the story ended. We can now watch the details of change. We see evidence of health pretty much everywhere. And this isn't saying that every reef is, is thriving and every reef has stayed immune to climate change. But what we're seeing is that uh, after a reef dies, organisms grow. We're certainly not saying that climate change doesn't matter and we know certain places like the Great Barrier Reef suffered significantly. If we can find places that are being well managed and are able to weather the storm through these warming events, well then they're probably doing something right that we want to try to replicate in other places around the world.